Hello students, in this video we'll discuss order statistics. In this context, we'll start with a two variable version of this. Let's let x and y be independent and identically distributed. And that just means they have the same distribution. So oftentimes we're going to say these are i, i, d. Independent and identically distributed random variables. And then we're going to construct two new random variables. Construct, let's call this one z. And z is going to be the minimum of the random variables x and y. And w is going to be the maximum of the random variables x and y. And now z and w are two new random variables, and these random variables are order statistics. So z and w are called order statistics. We can do this with larger collection of random variables as well. And we're interested in finding the distributions of z and w. So let's find the distributions of z and w. And so what we'll do is we'll let the PDF of x be f of x, and the CDF of x to be f capital of x. And so we know the relationship is that if I differentiate the CDF, I will get the PDF. And that will be useful for us. And so what I want to do is I'd like to find, let's consider, let's consider, let's let g capital of x be the CDF cumulative distribution function of w. And so what is g of x? So g of x will be the probability that w is less than or equal to x. But now, that's the same thing as the probability that the max of x and y is less than or equal to x. But if the maximum of x and y is less than x, that means that both x and y are less than x. So this is the probability that x is less than or equal to x and y is less than or equal to x. And now by independence of these random variables, we can write this as the probability that x is less than or equal to x times the probability that y is less than or equal to x. And these are the CDFs. This is f capital of x, and that's f capital of x. So we've just shown that g, cap g capital of x is f capital of x quantity squared. And so if we want to find the distribution of w, we have to differentiate this. So g prime of x is going to be 2 f of x times f prime of x. And so the PDF. This implies the PDF of W is 2 times the CDF of either x or y times the PDF. And so there's our formula for the PDF of W. Now, if we wish to find the formula for the PDF or CDF of Z, let's consider, let's let H of x be the probability that z is less than or equal to x. This is 1 minus the probability that z is bigger than x. And this becomes 1 minus the probability. Now, z, of course, is the what? z is the minimum of x and y. So if the minimum is bigger than x, then both x is bigger than x, and y 
is bigger than x, which by independence is 1 minus the probability that x is bigger than x times the probability that y is bigger than x. And now this becomes 1 minus, now this is 1 minus f capital of x. And this is also 1 minus f capital of x, so that's 1 minus f capital of x quantity squared. And so this formula over here, this h of x, so this is the CDF of z. And to find the PDF of z, what we'll do is we'll take the derivative of this. So if we take the derivative of this, the 1 will go away, we'll get a negative 2, and then a 1 minus f of x times the derivative of the inside, which is going to be a negative f prime of x. And so this is the PDF of z. So when we're computing the PDF, when we're computing the PDFs of order statistics, either the minimum or the maximum of random variables, what we want to do is we want to write either the cumulative distribution function of x and y, or the survival function of x and y, and compute the corresponding probabilities using the independence of the random variables. Thank you very much.